Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University, a one stop shop to learn all the technologies. So as part of this video, we will see uh, the uh, filter, uh, filter in action. So as part of our project, we need completed orders. It's pretty straightforward to implement. Um, uh, if, uh, but before implementing it, we need to understand the data. And already when we actually uh, read data from orders, we have previewed the data and we determined that orders have four columns. The first one is order ID, second one is order date, third one is order customer ID, and fourth one is order status. So we have to get the order status and we have to apply the uh, filter condition for complete so that we can get the completed orders. So with respect to Scala, the code snippets are uh, um, uh, available here with the different uh, 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 different filters but for us only the first one is important as part of our project you can see it here in action so first we need to um, understand the um, the way data is represented in the file so data is comma separated so reg dot split of comma will create an array of the strings um, um, discarding the commas so in this case each for each record it will create array of four values and the fourth one will get the order status so the sub the subscript starts with zero uh, for the fourth item we we need to pass it as three so this will actually return the order status because the data type is string we can use string functions of uh, scala or java and uh, we can uh, 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 invoke those functions to compare the values so equals will actually uh, compare exact string between um, um, between the element written by this uh, um, uh, code snippet and the string which is passed as part of the equals so this will actually create a string object and uh, here equals will compare uh, the string object with this uh, the contents of the string object with the content that is passed as part of equals Okay, and on top of that, there are other functions also like contains. If uh, if you want to implement uh, uh, similar to like, where the, uh, if you have uh, a string called pending, um, instead of uh, comparing exactly equal, if we want to identify um, whether if there is a particular string such as pending in this case, uh, and if you want to get all the uh, all the pen. Uh, all the order statuses which have pending in them not exactly pending but uh, like pending underscore payment pending and there are few other pendings as part of this data set if you want to get all those things you can use the contains the way it is shown here and you can also you need to also explore all the um, binary operations and uh, uh, and conditional operators such, uh, such as greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to uh, binary operators such as or and etc for uh, each and everything i have given examples here you need to get to more familiarized with uh, what all conditions you can pass as part of the filter and you can apply those things now let us understand how the filter works so filter is a transformation and you have to pass the condition as part of the lambda function or anonymous function lambda or anonymous functions are um, uh, are pretty popular in functional programming languages um, here uh, this this itself which is part of the braces of filter is considered as function and there is no name to that function that's why it is called as anonymous function so whatever parameter whatever name you gave here it will be passed as parameters to that function and we can use that parameter as part of the logic of the function so this is the logic for the function in this case it's a single line logic that's why we directly put the line otherwise the uh, the function logic will be in the curly braces okay so now as part of the filter you have to invoke this uh, or you have to implement the functionality for this lambda function passing the um, uh, passing the parameter name and what this parameter will be it is nothing but the each of the element in this rdd so rdd is nothing but a collection of elements 
so this filter function will be invoked once for each element so if the orders already have uh, uh, 20000 records the filter function will be invoked 20000 times if the condition returns true the rec record will be uh, passed if the condition is uh, returns false then the record will be uh, considered as fa uh, discarded and you will not uh, see that record so let us see it in action then it will it will it will um, uh, make more sense to you so already we have created rdd by name orders rdd so here i have to use orders rdd not orders so now we can actually copy paste this one this code snippet to this uh, Scala uh, interpreter which we have launched uh, earlier when we started developing this uh, program and hit enter. Now orders completed is of type RDD which is nothing but a collection of string items and now we can actually run orders RDD dot count to get what are the number of records and the orders have. It has 68,883 records but we have filtered um, for completed orders and we have created a new RDD called orders completed and then we can apply count on that and we will see that there are only 22,899 records. So the filter function is invoked 68,883 but only 22,899 have written true. Okay, And now if you want to preview the data, you can preview by saying orders completed dot take off 100 dot for each println so for each is a function on uh, a collection which can uh, read each item and then print you can see the data is as is only thing is we are getting the completed orders so if you again go back to this functionality it is just checking whether this condition is satisfied for each and every record. If the condition is satisfied, then it is returning the record as is. If the condition is not satisfied, then it is discarding the record. So out of 68,883 records, it has filtered out um, almost 46,000 and uh, returned uh, approximately 22,000 records, which are in completed state. And you can see all the 100 records which we printed here are in complete state. And all of them have four columns and uh, each record uh, is comma separated so this is how you can implement the filters now let us copy this code snippet okay now we are ready with the um, logic up to getting the completed orders on this um, uh, uh, on orders data set and uh, now we will see uh, further transformations and we will try to implement further transformations before we join the data set uh, after going through a few other simple transformations on orders and uh, order items that being said i hope you enjoy the content uh, of this topic if you like this or if you have to provide the feedback or if you want to uh, if you have to give the rating please do so especially with respect to rating please give me the uh, good rating or full rating if you think otherwise uh, in case if you think i do not deserve full rating please let me know your concerns so that i can improvise on that as part of my future videos that being said thank you bye